What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I got another exciting video for you guys. Today we're gonna to be talking some more One UI 5.0 for your Samsung Galaxy phone. Now if you guys missed it, Samsung actually talked about this quite a bit in their developer conference earlier this week on Wednesday, where they announced that One UI 5.0 is coming in stable uh, software for everybody running the Galaxy S22 by the end of October. So I'm gonna talk about a couple of cool things that I spotted new features that look like they'll be coming to the stable version um, that I spotted during the keynote, and then also one other new feature that I found in One UI Beta 4. Uh, before I do that, I do wanna mention, if you guys are going to be pre-ordering the Galaxy S23 Ultra, head to the link in the description uh, on my website. The mystery boxes are already up for pre-order. What I do is I send out a free case, a free cleaning kit, and then I also send out to you guys uh, another, you know, goodie, like something could be a phone stand for my friends at Lamacall, could be an Amazon gift card, prepaid SIM cards, lots of cool stuff. 100% free. I cover all the shipping. Just choose your size, uh, S22, S22 Plus, S20, I'm sorry, S23, S23 Plus, S23 Ultra, and then add it to cart. Check out, no cost to you. I'll ship those out in February when the phones launch. So let's talk about these new features that I want to mention the first one, let's talk about this new one that I spotted in One UI 5.0 Beta 4, which is what I'm running on my S22 Ultra right now. Something we've actually been asking for for a long time in the flagship software. Some of the other Samsung phones have had this for a while. If you go into the camera and then go into the settings app, what you'll notice inside the settings app, right below swipe shutter button, uh, you'll see the watermark feature. If you tap on that, you can now enable a watermark on your Galaxy S22 Ultra, and indeed it works on the other Galaxy S22 phones, um, the Note phones, I guess, once they get beta or they get One UI 5.0, and also the S21. Uh, it appears this is gonna be rolling out to all of Samsung's flagships. So if you turn this on, now you can put a little watermark there that says Galaxy S22 Ultra. A lot of other Android flagships, including ones by Xiaomi, Huawei, they've had this feature forever. And Samsung also had it on the A series and stuff like that. So you can edit the model name actually. So if you wanna change this, so I can be like, shot on Jeff's S22 Ultra. Instead of just putting Galaxy S22 Ultra there, I can save that. It's custom and then it appears up there. You can also add the date and the time if you want. I don't know if that's particularly a good idea for safety reasons. If you're gonna post it on social media, if it's just for yourself, you can do that. But if you're gonna post on social media, I wouldn't recommend putting the date and time there necessarily. Uh, you can also change the font style. There's only three options right now. And as far as I know, you can't do a custom font, but there's a look at the three options right there. I kind of like the Noto Serif one. You can align it either in the left adjust, center or right adjust and change your watermark. So let's see here, if I take a photo now, I got my Bang & Olufsen earbuds right here. I take a quick photo. Let's check it out. And there's my watermark right there, date and time, all that kind of stuff and also the custom text that I chose. So this is kind of a cool feature coming to the camera. I know some people like watermarking. Obviously, like I said, it's been a feature on a bunch of other Android phones for a long time. So it'll probably be exciting for some people who use it um, pretty often. The next thing is some features that I spotted coming in the keynote when I watched it on Wednesday morning. Well, actually I was at work, but I watched the replay of it very carefully to try to find anything cool that I could see for you guys. And uh, what I found is during the keynote, they showed off all these different widgets on the home screen of a device where the person was giving the presentation. And uh, a lot of these widgets are ones we've seen before, like smart suggestions, I've talked about that before. Some of them were stackable widgets, which I talked about in my other One UI video. Check it out below. I talked about top eight features that you need to know from One UI 5.0 if you wanna see that. Um, it shows this cool battery widget. And if you look at it closer, you can see it's got your phone, it's got your watch, it's got your buds. And if you scroll over, you can also put it in this format where you can see your phone, your watch, your buds, anything else that's connected to your device, Samsung stuff, I, I would assume. I, I don't know if it will work with other smartwatches. I, I would imagine that kind of like on Apple, if you connect your AirPods, you connect your Apple watch to your iPhone, you can see this cool battery widget. And so you can also see it in this condensed form with like a ring around there that'll be green or red depending on the battery level. So this is something that Apple's had for a little while, obviously on their iOS, which I think is a cool widget. I don't know why Samsung didn't bring it sooner, but I'm actually happy that they have because I'm typically using, right now I'm using the Pixel Watch because I'm reviewing it, but typically I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and uh, my Galaxy Buds Pro 2, 
And so having that there on my home screen would certainly be awesome. So it looks like we're gonna have at least a couple new features coming out. Also another update for you guys, I talked about last time, let me make sure I don't have anyone's phone number on here. I'm gonna go into the phone settings. So let me just, just go into settings. If you go on the phone settings, I talked about last time the Bixby text call feature, which allows you to basically automatically answer the phone with uh, Bixby. And then, you know, it shows you the text on the screen. You can choose conversation replies. This is only in Korean right now. And I demonstrated this in a video last week, but it is coming to English in early 2023. So we're actually not going to get this before the end of 2022. Samsung announced this officially in their keynote that Bixby text call will only be in Korean, I guess, until the end of this year. And then in early 2023, maybe at CES or something, we'll get an announcement and it'll roll out to English. So those of us in the US will have to wait to use this feature properly, but it's still kind of fun with mess with uh, spam calls using the Korean Bixby version. I I've had fun with it this last week. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. If you guys want to check out the wallpaper or the icon pack, well, the icon pack is unreleased. This is actually called Aries Black. It's from my friend 1-4 Studio. It's going to release in the next few months, and I'll definitely make a video about it. But uh, it's not out yet, so this is kind of a preview that he gave me. This uh, wallpaper is actually from his wallpaper pack as well, which is a set of AI-generated Halloween wallpapers. It's super cool, so I'll drop the link below if you want to check that out. Also, check out the mystery boxes if you're going to order an S23. Check those out 100% free. Love doing that for the community. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.